where has this cuisine been on my life? That is some of the most beautiful flavors I think I've ever, <clears throat> I've ever cooked with. That I really appreciate the process of things. And although this was time consuming, I see why. I see why. If y'all could only see, it's like a croissant. It's like a croissant. Oh my gosh. I'm doing a Q and A. Uh, I haven't done that in a very, very long time. Only because I'm not very interesting. So I feel like, what would they ask me? I'm, I'm so boring. Uh, all right, guys, let's jump right into this. I'm very excited about this one. I really liked this feast. So first I'm gonna be starting off with the jerk chicken and the jerk marinade. I wanted to make a key, a couple of key notes. First, I could not get my hands on scotch bonnet, so I'm just gonna be using habanero. I realized that scotch bonnet is different from habanero because there is a sweetness to the scotch bonnet, but I do not have those, so I just used the habanero for the heat. And then um, also I'm gonna be the only one eating this, so I don't mind the seeds in them. Secondly, uh, I also wanna point out that I do not have browning, uh, and it turned out completely fine so don't be don't be afraid of not having the browning so uh anyway so i just blend that all up and then i blend it to where it's a consistency where it's not like completely disintegrated i kind of wanted it to be more uh chunky and then after that i did not catch myself filming cutting this part but this is um like i said if correct me if i'm wrong but the green seasoning for Jamaican green seasoning like I said correct me if I'm wrong down below but it seemed like it consisted of only um, onions garlic ginger thyme green onions so basically that's what I have here and it's supposed to act as like a versatile seasoning I feel like everything acts as almost like a versatile seasoning like you can use this in almost everything um, and I have and I still have a bunch of it you guys and it is just like it's so delicious. I like I'm so excited about this recipe And I just kind of put that in a container and I use it throughout all of these recipes because I figured it Basically can be put into every single thing as a base I blend up some habanero so I can just add it to whatever dish you can add more or less depending on how hot you want it Now I'm gonna cut up the chicken. And I decided to go with a whole chicken because uh, it's cheaper. I feel like it's just cheaper to buy a whole chicken, cut it up yourself. I've already cut chicken before on camera so you guys know that I use the same technique I've always used. Uh, I got this technique from culinary school. I haven't really changed it since. I mean, it works so I don't really change it at all. And it gets everything off perfectly for me. And then I'm gonna be putting scores in the meat so that we can get the flavor really deep within the meat.
I pour my marinade over it. Okay, so I made my own Jamaican jerk dry seasoning. That was a handful, but I made my own dry seasoning and I looked around online for like what kind of seasonings they use. And so basically I decided to put everything I thought would be good as a all purpose Jamaican seasoning. I use this seasoning in every aspect of the cooking. I have some left over and this may be my favorite all purpose seasoning I've ever had. I will have it linked down below. I'm, I let it marinate for about 24 hours. I really think you need to marinate. You guys, that is a really, really um, key component to a lot of these. I, you gotta let your meat marinate. You gotta let the seasonings and all of the flavors just kind of penetrate your meat. Um, so after I marinated it for 24 hours, I just kind of put it in my baking dish um, in an even layer and I kind of try to squish some of the seasonings into like the slits. And then I'm gonna be reserving this jerk marinade because oh my gosh you guys I'm basically making a barbecue sauce out of it so I'm gonna start with tomato paste and I'm gonna cook the tomato paste till it caramelizes a little bit uh, when you do that obviously the flavors the heat starts to caramelize the sugar in the tomato paste and it's just it's so good and then after that I add the seasonings into that and cook it down a little bit And then from there, I'm basically adding, I'm going to be adding typical barbecue sauce ingredients. And I didn't measure this, but I did brown sugar, ketchup, mustard, honey, and the jerk seasoning that I said earlier, which was, I, there's nothing you don't make, make that seasoning and use it every day in your kitchen, you'll, you'll love it. Um, what I did was add liquid smoke, and when you add liquid smoke, you only wanna do a couple drops, just a couple, because it can be very, very, very overpowering. So I added a couple of that, so we can get that like smoky flavor that you would get from the grill, but like the fake, but like the fake version. Added a little bit of that, and then some Tabasco, <clears throat> favorite barbecue sauce i've ever made hands down so if you guys make this let me know down in the comments below y'all this might be the greatest invention the jerk seasoning barbecue sauce oh my gosh i can even i can i can tell you right now i haven't even ate the jerk chicken and i already know once i put this on top oh my gosh oh my gosh this is going i can't believe this so this is halfway through the oven. I put it at 375 and I pulled it when I started to see it brown on top. And then I'm going to lather it up with this barbecue sauce on top. And then I put it back in and at the end, you guys will see when I pull it out. So um, stay tuned for that. And 
And now I'm gonna be starting my oxtails. You guys, everywhere I read and everywhere I saw, and every time I hear about oxtails or anything that Jamaicans make, they always are using vinegar, lemon, um, to clean their chicken. So if the Jamaicans say, I gotta clean my chicken for about 30 minutes and some vinegar, that's exactly what I did. I let, uh, I did like a water and vinegar solution. I let my meat sit in there for about 40, I'd say about 30 to 40 minutes, but this is what I ended up doing with the oxtails. So I added um, the all-purpose Jamaican seasoning that I made, that I mentioned, and then I added a tablespoon of tomato paste, a tablespoon of ketchup, soy sauce, and um, I wanna say a tablespoon or two tablespoons of habanero, minced habanero, and then some green onions and some red bell pepper. And then that green seasoning that we made up at the beginning, which was just divine. Like, I was so happy about this. Even if I didn't make any of this correctly, it was just a lot of beautiful flavors. And uh, I look forward to actually cooking with um, this. I, I look forward to actually cooking with these ingredients more often. And then salt and pepper and then some oil and then i also let this marinate for 24 hours so if you're going to be doing this make sure you you have some time i think the minimum you should marinate it is four but if you got some time just throw it in the night before and just let it sit Now I am going to um, sear my oxtail. Pretty straightforward braising process. This is what you do when you braise meat for a lot of things. You wanna get that nice brown crust, that, that, that nice, and not only do, when you get a nice brown crust, it locks in moisture. That's one benefit. Second benefit is that it creates a fond on the bottom of the pan, which means those crispy bits that add a lot of flavor. I'm gonna add what was left of the marinade into the pot with the oxtails. And then I added eight cups of water and I forgot how much this was. They were pretty big, those oxtails were pretty big. And oxtails are expensive, didn't nobody tell me that. Oxtails are expensive. And then I added eight cups of water and the eight cups of water was perfect. It was perfect and they were, you know, doing great. But what I ended up doing was adding too much water because I wanted it to cook more, but I didn't want the gravy to reduce too much. So I accidentally added a little bit more water than what I wanted. Obviously, for next time I know what to do. But that's just a quick little that's just a quick little um, note I wanted to make. And then um, after it's simmered for a while, I'm gonna be adding an orange bell pepper. I think you can just add orange, yellow, red, whatever your choice, all of them if you want. Thank you. 
and then I added a little bit more of fresh fresh green onions and another sprig of thyme and I cooked that for a little bit I'd say about 15 minutes longer so stay tuned for the ending when I plate them So now I'm going to be starting with my rice and peas. I could not find the authentic or the original pigeon peas, so I settled for the kidney beans. And I soaked my kidney beans overnight with fresh thyme and some pimento seeds. And then a can of coconut milk. I use fresh sprigs of green onion. And then I use some garlic. What I ended up doing, and I tried to measure this as best as I could, but I used four cups of water to two cups of soaked kidney beans and a cup and a half of rice. That, I think that was about as accurate as I got with this one because I wanted to make sure that I was, um, that I was keeping track of all of the liquid because I was adding water and coconut. fresh thyme and I let it cook for I want to say about 45 minutes until the the pods were soft and I'm sorry I didn't show this to you guys I let them cook until they were soft like you could bite into them but they weren't like mush and then I add my coconut milk um, I know they do it with fresh coconut too And then I add my rice. And when I normally typically do rice, I don't do it like this whatsoever. Um, I put my rice in with my liquid and I put the lid on, cook it for 20 minutes, and then I pop the lid and fluff the rice. But this way was a new way for me and I really, really liked it. Um, I was worried about it being mushy and it turned out so perfect, you guys. I like, I basically sat there and babysat it for, I let it cook for another 15 minutes I, and I babysat it and just kind of moved it around until all the rice was cooked. When all of the liquid was absorbed, it was like this, so like beautiful flavor. Just, um, I can taste coconut and the allspice and just, it was just, it, guys, I don't know what else I could say. I, I loved this recipe. It was so fun to do. So I really look forward to making more of these. Um, Oh, and look at these oxtails. They were so beautiful. Even though I didn't get the gravy I wanted, they were, it was just so beautiful. And I was like, maybe I should just add like a little flour mixture, but I was like, nope, I'm not gonna do anything to kind of taint this recipe. I wanna try it as is. And it was just beautiful. And it's falling apart. Same goes for the jerk chicken. I know jerk chicken, it just seems very hard, especially if you're making it at home. It seems like it's hard to make it look beautiful, but I promise you, it's ugly delicious like it's it might not look like a lot but it was so so good and also this was also in the chicken was just so tender And then I'm gonna give you guys a little glimpse of the Jamaican patty. Look at that. I can't wait to show you guys this recipe. The most tender crust, the most flaky crust, and it was cheesy and gooey. Cannot wait for you guys to see that. If you guys are still here, if there's some Jamaican flags, leave the Jamaican flags down below. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me how I did. Let me know down in the comments below. We can talk about it there. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I wasn't even recording, so I'm gonna record that again. I took a little bit of my 
thing. Um, but as you guys can tell from the title, I made a Jamaican feast. Now I know, I know y'all gonna wanna come for me, especially you Jamaicans, y'all gonna be like, nah sis, that's not why we do this, that's not how we do this. I try to follow it as true as possible. I even try to do the actual, um, I know I'm gonna butcher this, oh gosh, if I do, I'm gonna pop it up on the screen. Pigeon peas, I tried to look for those, I could not find them anywhere and I wasn't gonna order them offline because delivery has been a little sketch around here lately. Um, but that is, with that being said, oh, that is so good. That is so good. Okay, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up talking. Oh, and it's a little bit later at night, so that's why the lights are gonna be varying a little bit, but I kind of like it. So grab something to eat right now, you guys. Come chill with me. Let's eat, let's talk. Actually, I don't know why I'm not grabbing it while you guys are on camera. Then I'm gonna grab a lovely beef. I'm only gonna grab half. Oh my gosh. Look at that, you guys. That's so thin. It's so thin and so flaky. If you guys watch the, actually don't if, nothing. Y'all watch the damn recipe part. I'm actually gonna be splitting up these recipes this time. You guys know after my last video, which we'll get into a little bit later, but you guys know I need to uh, scoot these up. Um, but you guys know that I kind of want to start breaking down my recipes so that they're a little bit more manageable. Anyway, let's go. This rice is so fluffy. <laughs> when I was making it, oh my gosh. Okay, so I've never had oxtail. If you guys can see that, it's falling apart. I don't got to put too much work into it. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Wow. Look at this, hold on. So soft. It kind of makes you wonder like, even with this being cooled down a little bit, it kind of makes you wonder where has this cuisine been all my life? I'm like, why wasn't my mom feeding me this? All right, hold on. Mm. That is beautiful. That is some of the most beautiful flavors I think I've ever, <clears throat> I've ever cooked with. I got my Milo's tea on deck. Y'all know, if you know, you know. If you know, leave a like. Mm. It's perfect because I like when it's warm, and this is my theory behind this whole thing. You know when you gotta get your drink just perfect. What I like is like filling my ice up halfway and then having a warm Milo's and then pouring it on top of the ice because it's a little sweet, but when it mixes in with the ice and water, it kind of like, it like mellows it out to like the perfect consistency. Yeah, I drink like a fish too. My gums are sensitive. Oh, and shout out to whoever recommended Sensodyne. That's actually been working. The only downside to having made this recipe is that no one gets to try. <laughs> and you guys wonder what I do with my leftovers? I'm about to tell you right now. Mmm. We need to talk about this. We need to talk about this. Did you see what I did to this jerk chicken? 
Okay, I know that I can't get the authentic jerk chicken. I can't do it because I don't have a grill. I'm not like, I'm not like in Jamaica, outdoor, on my grill, grilling up tons of, you know, jerk chicken. But I do got an oven and I do got some spices. And if you guys watch that recipe part, I made a barbecue sauce out of the jerk, the jerk seasoning. I even like, even as I was cooking it, I knew that this was, it was something that I was gonna be making time and time and time again. Or, and uh, I just, I'm like, what is that? Am I pulling something that, oh, pulling on a bone? Sure, sis, sure, sure, why not? Everything is just so good together. The rice is so fluffy and flavorful. The jerk chicken has so much flavor. Everything is so flavorful. I wish you guys could see the layers. I could literally look at them right now and count them. Because I, if you guys watch the recipe part, I know I always keep referencing the recipe part, but I really guys, I really want you to know like, like the whole process of it. And I really appreciate the process of things. And although this was time consuming, I see why, I see why. The only downside I, I would have to say to this is that um, I wish I could have got my meat a little bit more smaller because every time I see the inside of, of, of a beef patty, or anytime I've, I've watched somebody make this, the inside is more like, almost like, I don't even wanna degrade it by saying Taco Bell meat, but like, it's almost like you can't see the ground beef at all. Mm. And this oxtail, it's so, it's just, wow. What else am I to convey to you guys right now? What else? There's such a, <clears throat> a level of depth to everything. If you're Jamaican, leave me a comment right now and tell me what you think. Tell me what you do, what your guys' traditions are, how do you make, you know, these certain dishes. Because I know a while ago I said, <clears throat> Where's the meat at? Mm. Got a little bone in my mouth. Um But yeah, tell me what you guys tell me what you guys do. What, and tell me, tell me how you think I did. I can't say this. I low key was sad, but when I made this, you guys are gonna see them. You guys are gonna see. Here, let me bring it closer to my face. When I made that, <clears throat> this oxtail, it reached it reached a certain point where it was beautiful. The gravy was beautiful. The only problem was is that I wanted it to cook the meat to cook a little bit more. And so what I did was I added more water and I shouldn't have did that because then my gravy came out more on the watery side. Um, but there was a point where it was like just perfect. So now I know what I would do for next time. Doesn't mean it's lacking in flavor at all. Like no, none of this is lacking in flavor. Like what? I'm so mad I'm getting full. Mm, 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 mm. I'm trying to sit up, but mm. that's gonna trigger somebody. Anyway, how's everybody feeling? Are you excited for Christmas? What are y'all doing for Christmas? Should I make a Christmas feast video? I'm thinking I should. 
but it's not going to be like Thanksgiving. It's going to be more of like a, like a Sunday dinner type of thing. It's not going to be like, you know, with all of the, the fixings on the side. So maybe if I do, if I do do a Christmas video, let me know what you guys think. Do you want that? Do you not? So I just wanted to talk a little bit about my last video. First and foremost, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you. Let me stop picking at this and actually talk. Mm. Wow. Wow. Um, that bar, go back to the recipe part now. I'm not asking, I'm telling you, okay? The barbecue that I put on top of here, it will change your life. I swear if I ever start selling food or doing any kind of like food, pop-up shop, whatever, that will be on the menu 100%. Um, <clears throat> but I just wanted to say on the last video, thank you for all the love. I needed a moment to vent and um, I'm just so happy that you guys give me that chance to to vent to kind of open up without it being awkward i didn't receive one negative comment one negative comment a lot of you guys are like why are you so hard on yourself but you just don't understand um i've always been like that it doesn't matter what i do you guys let me vent but you guys also made me realize some huge huge things i heard you you're like you know what if you even if you were boiling water we'd watch so you know that really that really let me know that it really is all in my head it's a mental game and believe it or not i just got a message from ari's appetite um i know a lot of you guys are familiar with her <clears throat> i just got a message from her like right before i sat down to film um we basically are talking about youtube and how it is very easy to get inside of your head so i'm just really grateful one for you sending that message so thank you for that if you're watching this and two like just opening up and just letting you guys know lets me know like okay girl relax you need to relax just keep doing you keep going and that's exactly what i plan on doing i just want to say a huge uh, shout out to you guys thank you thank you so much for that um sometimes we all just need a little pep talk okay i don't let him I shouldn't have been eating any of it off camera. That's where I, that's where I screwed up. I whole beef patty already. Oh, and there's one with cheese. So I'm gonna be, this one might be with cheese. Okay, this one. This was like my thumbnail one. But these have cheese. It has cheese in it. One's on one side and then I ate the other one out the other side. But um, I also did that with cheese. So make sure you check out that video because I'm going to be uploading it right after this video uh, to see how I did this. And there is a meme. <clears throat> I am going to find it. But it was like uh, it said every time you eat Jamaican beef patties and it had like the crumbs all over your hands. This is it. This right here, guys. Like it's all over my hands. You can't even see it, but it's all over my hands. There's little flakes all on the table. Like there are little flakes everywhere. So that's how I know I did a little something, something. I might not have did it like exactly the way I was supposed to, but I did a little something, something. I applied a few different things, but uh, you guys need to check that out. <clears throat> you guys are the best though, seriously. Now I'm trying to find my meat on here and I just might be out of meat. <laughs> like, where's my meat at? Mm -hmm. Found, found a little something, something. Mm. So, a lot of you guys wonder what I do with my leftovers. If it's just me. I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get these away from me. I'm going to have to get these away. Yo, if I sold plates, this would be a hidden ass plate. <sighs> yes, I am still amazed. I am still surprised at what I can do in the kitchen sometimes. Even when I find something intimidating if I have never tried it. 
Mm. I tried a new technique with rice. I never thought I'd do because I always bring it to a boil, simmer it, put the lid on it. Don't open that lid until it's done because it steams the rice. I always used to think that way, but I tried something new and <clears throat> that might be a new way of me doing rice. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, a lot of you guys wonder what I do with my leftovers. And um, I'm actually gonna start showing you because that's something I realized that I need to start showing is if I'm here, and since I'm not recording every single day, what I do is normally I record, if I'm making a feast, I reserve myself like a whole day to edit and do my voiceover and all that stuff. <clears throat> but in the midst of that, like I'll get up and I'll take whatever is left over and I'll just make like a different, like utilize it in a different way. I'm always making burritos out of this stuff. So what I think I'm gonna do is um, make a burrito out of this tomorrow. So you guys should stay tuned for that as well. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit what I do, or sometimes I'll freeze it. And, and most of the time, if it's like doesn't have meat in it, I give it to Aiden. Um, so I'm doing it, I'm utilizing it. So I think that would be a good idea for you guys to watch what I'm actually gonna do with these leftovers. And uh, I think I'm gonna be making a jerk burrito. My take on a Jamaican burrito. Um, but I'm so excited for y'all to see this Jamaican beef patty recipe. I did it so good. Anyway, if you guys like this video, let me know down below. Hit this, give this, give this video a huge ass like, okay? Give it a huge ass like. Go on your other account, your troll account, and like it. Go on your kid's account and like the video. Just like, just give it a huge like, okay? And uh, I will see you guys again tomorrow.